Years ago, I was home for Christmas and my dad was out at his shop. He texted me, hey, come out here, I want to show you something. And he pulls up this video that I had already seen, and I think it was an eGarage video of Nakai in Japan with Stella. And, you know, he said, you know about these cars? And I said, yeah, of course. You know, this is like my world, this tuning deal. This is, you know, what, I, what I'm really into. So he showed me the video and, and saw how excited he was of it. And, you know, I knew known about the cars and everything. This was right when it was kind of really blowing up stateside. Everybody was figuring out, you know, what these cars were, who was doing them. And, and, and uh, so then, you know, my dad said, we'll see what you can do. You know, I want one. Now he had a little bit of a taste, so now he's like, you know, I want one, see what you can do. The fun part for me was to be able to manage the build and, and, and see everything through and, and be a part of it, and, but ultimately in the end it was a car for him, for my dad. And that made it even kind of more special that I was able to get him something that, you know, that he desired. People have tried to wide body cars, 911s, and a lot of people have tried to reinvent uh, what Porsche did. I don't know of anyone that's really been successful with that other than the guy. And he, he got it right. He got it right the first time. And we just absolutely love the car. He named it Naganata, which is like a, a type of sword. So it, it's, you know, obviously a weapon, which is what the car could be too. first time we saw the car was when we walked into the shop in, in San Francisco and the guy was there doing the build and the guy was a very warm person and immediately accepted us being there and, and, and we just stayed there the balance of the day and, and he worked on the car nonstop uh, and I think that was a huge component of, of uh, why this car is very special to us. You have no idea is when you get there, you see the passion that Nakai is and the artistry that is, I mean, he's such a, an artist. That's what you really see. That made it so much more than just a car, uh, which is really what it is. It's more than just, you know, fender flares on a car. And it's easy to see that when you see the car, but then when you're around the build and Nakai doing the, his work on the car, it really, uh, you know, the whole, RWB comes to life. It's hard to get involved with anyone or anything that they'll exceed your expectation. And certainly with Nakai from, from day one, our expectations were exceeded on this project. It wasn't just another car, it was an RWB. It was a, piece of him in the end and uh, that's the, the passion that you see when you're around him. We've had a lot of Porsche experiences and a lot of car experiences and this you know, it ranks up there as one of the best experiences we've had father-son uh, with, with a car, uh, or, you know, period, really. Are you happy with this one? Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs>